Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's Epic 7 video, we are going to be talking about how to get crystals, how to farm crystals, where to get crystals, all that good stuff, all about crystals. And this video idea came from the fact that almost every time I upload, there's at least one person like, why do you have so many crystals? You're definitely not free to play. You're absolutely a whale. And I'm not a whale. I'm not free to play either. I buy the monthly pack every month for five bucks. So if that's what you consider whale, then so be it, I guess I'm a whale, but um, ju that's just the full disclosure there. Anyway, so, so there are two types of crystals. The crystals you can only get one time and the crystals you can keep getting over and over either every day, every week, or every month. Let's start with the one-time crystals because these are typically a lot more that you can get in a shorter amount of time. So if you really need that extra 100, 200 crystals or whatever, you know, story mode is gonna be your friend here. Realistically speaking, story mode is by far the place you're gonna get the most one-time crystals. You can actually get more in arena, but you have to be really, really strong for that. There are two types of story mode, world difficulty and normal difficulty. You're gonna start on normal difficulty. If we zoom out here, we can see all 16 different maps here. It only goes up to stage 10, but you know, we got these 9-2s, we got the five S's. So 16 total maps. In these 16 total maps, there are 189 stages. And on those 189 stages, there are three stars each to get, totaling 567 stars. Each star gives you five crystals. So that means you can get 2,835 crystals on normal mode and an additional 2,835 crystals on world mode. Along with that, in every single region or map or whatever, you have region rewards. On normal mode, you get 50 crystals when you get all 48 stars. And on world difficulty, you get 100 crystals for getting two thirds of the stars. So that's an additional 800 crystals in normal difficulty and an additional 1600 crystals in world difficulty. So in total, from completing story mode, world and normal difficulty, you get 8,070 crystals. That's quite a lot. I forgot if there are any crystals in quest. So the quest rewards, you can't see them anymore, but uh, if there were, then you can bump that total up a bit. I believe chapter 10 is the only one I haven't finished yet, just out of laziness. Uh, so we can check. Oh, no, I guess we are done with that as well. Maybe you don't get any for world difficulty because like we're not done and the quests are. So yeah, I would say that's the main thing most people should be focusing on if they want some quick, easy crystals. Every star gives you five. When you get to the certain milestones, you get 50 or 100, etc., etc. Besides that, we have arena. I do not like arena, like at all. I don't know, I just don't like it. Um, regardless, this is a massive source of quick crystals, especially if you're newer to the game. Because if we go into league info, every time you get to a new tier past bronze five, you get a crystal reward. Of course, the higher you go, the more initial crystals you get for first entering the league. Starting with bronze, you get 60 per tier, totaling 240 if you get to bronze one. Getting to silver one then will net you 600 crystals. Getting to gold one will give you 900 crystals. Getting to master one will give you 1200. Getting to challenger one gives you 1500. Champion starts with 400 and goes goes up 100 for each tier you go up, uh, but the total here if you get to champion 1 is 3000, and again legend starts at 900 going up to 1500, so you know, if you're super hardcore and can even just touch the number one spot for a second, you'll get 7000 crystals total, but that's just for legend league. If we combine all of those crystals together, the one time promotion rewards from arena is 14,440. So yeah, that's by far the biggest one-time crystals you can get. However, it's uh, a little bit unrealistic to go ask Mr. Joe or whatever to go get rank one, you know? So yeah, but regardless, just for completionist's sake. And then we also have Abyss. This isn't really significant or anything and there are better rewards in Abyss besides the crystals. But again, just for like completionist's sake. On floor four, you get 100. Floor 15, you get 200. Floor 30, you get 300. Floor 45, you get 500. On floor 60, you get 1,000. And on floor 75, you get 1,500. Total one-time Sky Stones from Abyss is 3,600, which actually isn't super insignificant, but it takes quite a long time to progress through here. We also have side stories going on pretty much constantly, and um, you can get some crystals here, although that is really insignificant. You know, we got 15 here, 20 here, 50 there. You know, they add up. All these little crystals from all these little places do add up for sure. There's also quite a few from one time reputation reward, like going to level 65, which currently doesn't even exist. Getting the fourth guardian, which 
also doesn't really exist. Even logging in gets you some. Again, these aren't super high amounts, you know, two more golden goblin chambers, 80. But yeah, you get the point. There are lots of little crystal rewards just pretty much everywhere. So we can also talk about like recurrent diamonds, ones that kind of are not one time. And there are really only a couple places you can get consistent diamonds. And that pretty much starts off with reputation. Doing all of your daily quests will give you 50. A maxed out heart of Orbis can give you up to 54 per day. Although that is if you get the 200% bonus, which is at a 50% chance. So we can say one's going to be 200% bonus and one's not going to be a 200% bonus. So we could say like 36 per day from that. Besides that, I'm not sure if I can see that anymore since I closed the screen already. But we do get 80 crystals per week from daily login. Again, it's not very much, but you know, it does add up with all the other little things. Of course, we also have arena, but this depends heavily on where you're placed. You know, me... I'm gonna at least go to master before the week resets. I got thrown down to gold because I had that very weak defense team, but it's cool because I can find easy opponents and get my daily quest out of the way quickly. Depending on where you are, your weekly ranking reward is gonna vary quite a bit. Like bottom tier of gold, you get 300. Top tier of master, you get 435. I mean, for a whole week, it's probably not that big of a difference. And they steadily go up until you get to legend, then it goes kind of crazy higher, which is fair because it's gonna be pretty hard to maintain top 10 or 50 even. But for convenience, let's say you're somewhere in master three or four, let's just say 400 crystals per week from there. There are also sometimes events, not this one in particular, but I believe there are sometimes events which give out crystals. Not really gonna add those in because those are non-consistent and they can be or cannot be. Also with uh, Guild Wars coming up, that could potentially be another source of diamonds, but until we know for sure, then I'm um, not going to include that either. But the thing I'm trying to calculate now is what you can expect every day, every week, every month in terms of crystals. So considering you have a max heart of Orbis and you're always like gonna be in the average, one 200% at full, one normal at full, then we can say 36 per day from there, 50 from daily, which is 86 per day. Now, of course, you're probably gonna be getting more than that because maybe you're still going through story or you're getting some reputation rewards from something, but let's just say 86 per day. And just from those two things, we're looking at 2,580 crystals over the course of a month. Now, those little amounts, actually, over the course of the month, definitely do add up. Throwing in the login bonus that you should be getting as long as you're logging in, which is 80 per week, that brings our total monthly crystals to 2,900. And then to go ahead and throw in Master 3 to 4, 400 crystals per week from the weekly rank reward in Arena, that gets our monthly total up to 4,500 crystals. Now, that's actually not an insignificant amount anymore. If you're not strictly free to play, I would highly recommend grabbing the month pack every month for five dollars which will bring your monthly total up to 5600 that's a nice amount and if you're even a little bit less strictly free to play i would also recommend buying a vault of sky stones 3000 plus bonus 800 every day which would bring your monthly total to 119,600. but yeah i guess that's pretty much where i'm gonna wrap it up I kind of don't think there's an obvious another way. There's probably some other little crystals you can get anywhere. Hopefully I didn't brush over any super easy ones, but I don't think so. There's like, I believe none you can get in guild currently. Maybe when, when guild war comes around, there is, you know, no crystals there. I believe you can get some crystals out of the um, guild supply chest. But first of all, that's hugely RNG. And second of all, it takes us quite a long time to get 300 of these. We can do that maybe once or twice a week. But yeah, if there are any other unique methods to gaining crystals at a consistent rate, or maybe a big chunk of them for doing something I'm unaware of, make sure to drop a comment down below. If I find it useful or informative or whatever, maybe I'll pin it. I don't know yet. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think about this video in the comments down below. Leaving a like if you happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. One last thing, although I'm sure at least 99% of people watching this video, especially till the end, have already downloaded Epic 7. I will leave a link to download it if you haven't. It is an affiliate link. I'm not necessarily sponsored by Epic 7, but if you do download the game through that link, I'll get like a small kickback, I think six cents. It depends on where they're coming from, I don't know. But I was like, hey, since I'm making Epic 7 videos anyway, may as well throw it down there. But I digress. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.